To understand velocity is to understand a ticker. It's called XBT. From Friday night until today, you've got Bitcoin up by another 17%. But to put it in a perspective for you, this is the year-to-day performance on Bitcoin. It is up 855%. Is it coming of age? Is it, has it got validity? And can this trajectory continue? Justina Lee joins us now with a little bit more perspective on Bitcoin. Justina, good to see you this morning. I mean, to come up by, what, 17.5% in Burley, 24 hours of trading. What's behind this momentum? Is it the retail investor, the number of accounts? Give us some context. Well, it seems like Bitcoin really is going mainstream. We all know that CME is preparing to introduce Bitcoin futures. And then JP Morgan, whose CEO Jamie Dimon famously called Bitcoin a fraud, is considering offering those futures to clients. And then, you know, last week you heard about a mutual fund in Europe offering Bitcoin. Um, and then, you know, a Swiss code offering an exchange traded product. So it seems like, you know, Bitcoin is really growing up because, frankly, no one wants to miss out on an asset that's rallied more than 900 percent just this year. Yeah, so nobody wants to miss out, Justina. Good morning to you. But are there warning signs there? I mean, anybody looking at a more than 800 percent rise year to date is going to raise a few a few eyebrows at least. <laughs> Right, exactly. I mean, it sounds crazy, but just a week ago, we were celebrating Bitcoin's rise above $8,000. And today we're talking about, you know, when is Bitcoin going to reach the $10,000 landmark? I mean, you know, the thing is, it's very hard to assess the fundamental value of Bitcoin because it's really not gaining traction as a payment currency. And it's kind of paradoxical in, in the sense that because of its volatility and because of, you know, lengthening transaction times, actually the hotter Bitcoin gets, it's actually becoming harder to imagine Bitcoin really becoming a currency that's used for payment. And so for now, it seems to be mostly speculative, which makes it very hard to kind of call a top on the Bitcoin.